woman who can hardly fly and talking about me. The hatch is not very big at all. Outside, I said the submarine looked extremely large, which it did. In here, there's very little space. These hallways are about two feet wide. Bunk areas are very small. Hatches maybe 40 inches tall. Won't move. Uh, steampunkish, doesn't it? The men that worked in here definitely knew what they were doing and where everything was. This is evidently the dive room. Taking a guess, those of you that know something about submarines, let me know if I'm wrong, because I very easily could be. But there is an awful lot of valves, levers, and wheels in here. Whoever built this cell, whoever built this was a genius themselves. going somewhere that's locked up. Sonar. red dive light or battle station light I guess it's a cold day today like I said there's a lot of people here so I may have to narrate some of this later did not expect so many people to be here today up to bridge, periscope, and attack center. Let's see here. Damn it. I mean, dang it, they have it chained. Can't get in there. I know I was in there last, last time I was here, but that's been 20 years ago. Ah, uh, wish I could get up there, but not with that chain there. It ain't gonna happen. Dadgummit. I was looking forward to showing you a shot through the periscope. Looks like that's not going to happen. It 
Everywhere you walk in the ship, there's switches, valves, garbage disposal. <laughs> uh, I guess it launched it out into the open sea. Would have had to. There's no place on this ship for storing garbage. Radio equipment, probably sonar. Just an unbelievable amount of controls in here. Look at those little bank of nozzles. Who knows what those do or did. Another red light. I'm sure those are battle station lights. Anybody that knows anything about submarines though, add whatever you want in the comments because when it comes to submarines, I love them but I'm lost on knowledge of them. Well, not lost because I never knew, so I can't lose what you never had. Kitchen area. Eh. Doesn't even have a blockade in front of it so I can get in here. Plenty of headspace. I'm six foot one and I, I've got probably two or three inches of spare before I get into pipes and valves and things, so pretty good headspace. It's just really uh it's just really uh a weird feeling. I don't know what word to use to describe it. It's a, it's a weird feeling being in here. Knowing that at one time in history, men were running up and down these hatches, flying through them like they're probably not even there. And I can barely crawl through them given it time. I'm not gonna have to add any music to this video apparently, or very little. But it's hard to imagine the men running up and down these very narrow, very small hatches and hallways in emergency situations, especially when they saw this shokaku. There had to be just an unreal amount of excitement in here. They were out on their maiden voyage. <laughs> 